the screen. Yeah. Hello guys! Welcome, Welcome to our very first episode of Lab on Screens and today we have part of the IGF Stockholm team 2020. Woo! My name is Asta and I'm Mario. I'm Victoria. So Victoria, what is IGF? So IGF stands for International Genetically Engineered Machines. So it's an international synthetic biology competition where teams of students from all around the world compete and developing synthetic biology projects to try to solve um, global challenges in both the local community and around the world. That sounds so cool. cool. That's cool. What is synthetic biology? Well, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a well, I think, it, I think the basics, basics of it involves um, modifying existing um, biological systems, systems genetically? Yes, yes, genetically. Well, it's, 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 an, an, it's, it's a, a very interesting, interesting and deep topic, topic but also uh, we, uh, we could discuss, discuss that in some other events. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe we can have this special episode for this topic. For sure, yeah! yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Experience. So, what are we gonna do today? Well, uh, we will do the acid and basic experiment using the red cabbage. Yay! This is a it's really simple experiment that you can do it uh, on your home, on your kitchen, and basically we all use the same, like, the household stuff. Perfect. So, before we start, there are some things that are very important before you do labs at home. And um, we need some safety precautions, right? Mm -hmm. So let's put on our aprons or lab coats if you have any. Yeah. Well, this will look nice, right? solutions that we are using could be quite strong. It's really bad getting to the ice. Maybe we just have to do it. Yeah, that's true. So I've got my goggles on and we need some gloves, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. I already put it. There you go. And also, also most importantly, if you're a child, uh, then you should uh, talk to your parents before you do these experiments, and it would be very good for you to call your parents to help you out during the experiment. Yeah. And please, please do not consume any of the solutions that were produced in this experiment. Yes. Yeah. They're not very tasty, to be honest. No, no. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So, so should we start with the experiment, right? right? Well, well yeah. yeah. Before, before that, we have to prepare everything we need to do this experiment. experiment. The first, the first thing, the most important thing is, what is it? it? <laughs> red cabbage. I mean, I mean you, you can, can find it in a supermarket. Uh, we, we use the red cabbage as a PES indicator. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, you, you can, can just slice it. it. And, and then, then the, the second, second thing you need is water or tap water. water. Is this is water. And the next thing, what is it? Well, we need the blender here. And, and also a knife to slice your red cabbage, cabbage but, but honestly we, have have uh, we already, already prepared it, we already uh, cut it into pieces, yeah, yeah just, just make, make this experiment shorter I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah because we have a little bit of time. And then and what else we need is a uh, lemon, and then the vinegar, and then Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you have acid powders? Yes. You, you can, can use, use uh, any brand. Up to you. You can also use tablets. Yes, yes but, but you need to crush it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, some regular tap water. Yes. We, we also, also need some 
baking powder, uh, baking, soda. baking soda actually, uh, and some household um, window cleaning solution that works as uh, an ammonia. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can see that really here uh, to make sure that it's contain ammonia solution. Okay. Uh, right. So should we start um, with the Maybe you guys need some time to prepare the red cabbage. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. Yeah. we can wait. So we can wait for some time and just chit chat in a while. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you're doing this right now, you can just cut up some red cabbage, put it in the blender. Uh, okay, you need to put, put some water in it. Do you want to put some water in here? Of course. I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. And you don't need to put much, much water, water. Just, just need to solve it. Exactly. exactly. We want to keep. Uh, could it be something with anto Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, think it's anto Anto Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this kind of thing gives this color. Yeah. This red. red. It's not red. Well, well, it's it's purple. Red. Red, 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 red purple. Yeah, the purplish color. The red purplish yeah. hueish color. So it changes it's color, color, right? right? Uh, we, we will see that, that during the experiment, experiment. Yeah. but this pigment is usually found in a lot of different vegetables and fruits yeah. actually. So like it gives give the color to the vegetable, like yeah, also in the, the flower, flower, you can find the like red, because yeah. they yeah. contain antistone. Exactly, blueberries contain it, and basically it's a natural pH indicator. But so, we're guessing you're done with creating the solution, or a pH indicator. Uh, when you've done that, you can use uh, the copy filter. Yeah, we can just we can actually sort of do this for pretend. pretend. Yeah. yeah, you put the solution you have in here, pour, pour it in the filter. If you have a coffee um, funnel as well, that would be great because then you don't have to hold this. Uh, and then you filter out the red cabbage and get a solution like this. Yeah, we are already prepared. So, should we start, start then? Yeah. Okay, what are you gonna do? Do you like the right side or left side? Hmm, I don't know. I do, I think we should start with that side. Oh, okay, actually. nice. What we have here is a lemon. Okay, maybe we'll pour, maybe we'll pour, pour some lemon juice in there. Yeah, so the smell so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> so it feels like I'm making, making a smoothie, right? Yeah. yeah. And more. So the, the more, more concentrated, concentrated you make it, the, the nicer, nicer the colors will appear. Could you see here? Could you write in the comments, comments what, what color you think it will become when we add the pH, pH indicator? Lemon what, what do you think, think like? Well, I have no idea. idea. Let's see. Maybe, Maybe it will be turned, turned to a beautiful color. A beautiful mm -hmm. color. Oh, I hope so. Cage. And, and the second thing, thing is vinegar. Put your color back on for you. Okay. Pour. Oh, oh that's this perfect. Okay, yeah. so we, we have, have the vinegar solution in here. And uh, let's add some of this acid. acid. Mm. We already dyed some seed here. We just pour the water. Oh, I think, nice. more. I think we can add some more. So the antacid, since we have a powder, uh, we want to dilute it in water as well to get a better reaction. Okay, this is enough. That's perfect. Actually, as you can see, there are bubbles at the bottom here. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, and in our in this glass, I think we should just add some tap water, right? Yeah. I wonder, do you think tap water is acidic or basic? Well, hmm. we will find out. I feel, I feel like acid or best when I do it. Well, let's see. Okay, and then in our five, or in our, uh huh, fourth oh, five glass, we will have some baking soda. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be honest. Just put a pour of water and then dilute it. See, let's try to not get this thing messy over here. Perfect. Good. And in our final glass, we shall add some 
a morning solution here I will put so be careful with this guys if you're if your parents are at home ask your parents to help you out with this I think that's good this sounds good right perfect okay uh, so we have all of that here now well should we start yeah but I hope you can guess we, we can play a little game. Okay. Yes, okay. That sounds good. We can, can give, give you, you what, maybe three, three seconds? seconds? We will start with this side. This side? This side? Yeah, yeah, I do like that side. Yeah, yeah this is the lemon um, juice. And, and what, what do you think, guys, the color um, after, after we pour the red cabbage? We give you three seconds. Three seconds, seconds. Yeah. yeah. You, you can, can guess, guess with your favorite color, color. like. My favorite color is actually maybe yellow. Yeah, yeah yellow. Okay. Yeah. It's like really? the color of the lemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. Hmm. Okay, one, well, well, I can help two, you actually. and three. Okay. okay. Let's see. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, perfect. perfect. Wow, that, that looks, looks like, like a, a kind of bright, bright red. red. Yeah. yeah. Pinkish color? Yes. Can you see that? Probably with the kind of. Yes! We can put it. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's put this over here. Yes. Can you color? Yeah, perfect. Um, okay, so we have a reddish color. So it basically, this purplish color changed into a red color when we add up some lemon juice. Okay, you can compare it here, maybe. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. So can you label this? I will add some. Of our peaches and pears. So right now the vinegar is transparent, and we have added some of this juice, and it turns into a reddish color as well. A little bit lighter, I would say. Yeah. A little bit more kind of pinkish, right? Could you see different color? Now, obviously, guys, depending on how much of how concentrated the solution is, the color might appear a bit differently. Um, but I would say red, pink, and purple. And third is antacids. Do you want to go ahead, Victoria? Yes. Oops. Ooh. Wow, what is that? It's from something, right? Yeah, what could that be? We could see this. So there's a formation of something there, right? Mm -hmm. And a color. A gas. Yes. Yeah. It's the same. It kind of remains the same. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So we put that back and then let's go with tap water. This is normal tap water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the stock formation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Wow. This is so nice. Oh, oh no, so look, it's, uh, I think it's it looks a little bit bluish bluish actually. actually. Yeah, it's like dark, it's like darker than this color. color. Yeah. Oh, Maybe yeah. we, we can, can put, put this as reference behind. Yeah. Put this in this. Maybe, uh, maybe your hand is like, uh, wait, oh, if, if we move it this, this way, maybe it's easier to see. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not that purple. purple. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, like, like it's exactly like blue. blue. It's like blue, yes, right? Yes. yes. That would be the absurd bias in here, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, okay, so also, guys, if you're trying this at home, write in the comments what colors you're getting. So we have a uh, baking soda diluted in water here. Let's see what happens. Let me just pour in a little bit. Oh. Ooh! Wow! That's, That's pretty nice! Wow! I like the color. Me too! That's Ooh. actually my favorite color. Yeah! So it's a blue. Yeah, a blue yeah. color, I would say. A turquoise blue. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, okay so, so for, for the, the final, final one. Oh, wait, I didn't get it. Sappy. I think I'm getting kind of hot over here, I feel. Ooh! 
lot of, of a very strong green, I would say. You yeah, right? this is green. I, I can try to get a lens into the, the camera. camera. Yeah. Hmm. You kind of have a rainbow of colors. Wow. Wow, what's, what's happened, happened here? This is nice. nice. Oh. So, so should, should we, we try, try to see what's happened? Yeah, yeah I really agree what's happened, happened here. So, so what do we know about acids, acids and bases? Well, acids, acids contain um, hydrogen ions and bases contain hydroxide ions. ions. And exactly. acids acid have, have a pH below 7 and bases have a pH indicator above 7. Exactly. So, so, so yeah, yeah, basically what um, expanding on what I said, mm -hmm. pH is a measure of acidic, how acidic uh, any substance is, and it's measured in terms of the amount of hydrogen ion, the concentration of hydrogen ions contained in the solution. So if you were to look at the pH scale between one and fourteen, uh, the lower the number on the scale. The, the more hydrogen ions there are in the solution, so the more acidic um, solutions have a lower pH value, and the higher um, pH values indicate basic solutions. So, and the pH of seven will be in the middle, which means it's neutral. Exactly. And so, what happens when we add a pH indicator? Well, basically. Uh, when we add this pH indicator, which is anthocyanin, or maybe it's pronounced anthocyanin, I guess so. Uh, so but uh, what happens is, when we add an, a an acidic substance, there are hydrogen ions that bind to this pigment that changes the morphology of the molecule, which causes the light that is absorbed, absorbed by the substance to, um, to be altered. So it, instead of Basically, the light we see, or the color we see of the substance, is the color uh, or the wavelength of light that is reflected back by that substance. Oh. Mm -hmm. So when we add hydrogen ions, the shape of the molecule changes, and a different kind of uh, wavelength of light is absorbed and reflected back. So right now, we have a reflection of purplish uh, wavelengths, and when we add an acid with hydrogen ions, we have a reflection of uh, wavelengths in the red zone. Yeah. Ah, mm. uh, when we add a more basic substance with hydroxide ions in, the morphology of anthocyanin changes, and we get a reflection of greenish uh, yes. light. So, yeah, that's basically this experiment, right? Yep. So, if we if it is contained acid or hydrogen side, it will be turned to red. Yeah. When it's contained a uh, hydroxy, yes, yeah. Yeah. it will be changed to uh, green or blue if it's correct. Yes. yes. Okay. Wow. Well, well done. Hmm. Did you guys get that? Otherwise, write in the comments and we'll try to answer that as yeah. soon as we can. Yeah. And so that's quite cool. Who knew that red cabbage had, had that, those kind of properties? So what do you think will happen though if we already have a color, an acid added to it, and we have a pH indicator? What happens if we add a base into it? Should we try? Yeah, yeah definitely. That would be quite interesting. Maybe we can use, because this is the strongest acid we have right now, maybe if we add some of the strongest base that we have, what happens then? Okay, let's, let's let everyone guess. Do you think it will remain this color? Do you think it will change? Color to a more neutral color, like this, or or you think it will change it to a green color? Or is green mean pink? Maybe. Yeah, maybe it will remain pink. Let's we'll see. So, in case if you add a little bit at a time. Yes. So it still remains pink, right? And let's see if we add. Oh, do we see? When, when you add it, you can see it turning a bit greenish, turning a bit darker. Yeah, I think maybe let's add some more. Let's add... So when we add a little, not much happens, but if you're close to the glass, you can see that actually 
uh, there are some blue dots, dots forming. Yeah, 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 yeah the ammonia yeah, touches, touches the liquid solution. solution. Hmm, interesting. Should we add some more? Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's just go ahead and add and add. It's actually turning darker. darker. It seems like it's going towards a more neutral color. Yeah, yeah. If, it it is. Is. if you can, if you're comparing, it. let's compare it with that place just for for reference. Yes. yes. So, so what's, what's happening, happening right now is that we have an acid with a lot of hydrogen ions, right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. added base mm -hmm. with hydroxide mm -hmm. ions. Mm -hmm. And got closer to a neutral pH, which makes sense, right? Yeah, because if you add hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions together, you get water. Yeah. yeah. Which, which is neutral. neutral. Yes. yes. So, so perfect. perfect. And, and my theory is that if we would continue, continue adding, adding ammonia to, to this in huge, huge quantities, quantities, we don't need to do that maybe. But if, if we, we did, did, this would turn into more of a greenish color, right? Yeah. Since yeah. then we would have an over... Uh, a surplus of the ammonia or the hydroxide ions, ions causing a more of a basic uh, pH in the solution. So, yeah, so apparently the pH indicator can also be utilized several times mm -hmm. and it changes. Oh, well, but I think if you add a really strong um, acid or base, it will completely alter the, um, the structure of the acid yeah. and the molecule. Yeah. So, exactly. Uh, there might be some point when you can. Use it too, too much. Too much, yeah. Okay, okay so I guess that kind of finishes, finishes the first experiment. Yeah. Does anything else you want to add to it? Um, um, you, you know, know have, have, you you ever, have you guys ever wondered about the pH of your drinking water? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, we, we, we have, have a lot of water, kind of water that I used to drink, like hyperactive water. Water, and I don't like to drink coffee. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you yeah. know how when you drink coffee, sometimes you say that you have yeah. an acid on afterwards? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I don't drink coffee. That's a very good thing. The mm -hmm. thing is, I can't stop myself from drinking coffee anyways. But maybe we could do this experiment using different kind of waters and yes. yeah, different kind of drinks. Let's yeah. do that. I'm actually, actually it'll be interesting to see if different kind of waters. Around Stockholm, or around, Stockholm, or around the world, have, have different, different pHs, pHs as well. Mm. My theory is that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. But uh, today we only have one kind of tap water, so we won't be able to change that. But uh, you could write it to us and tell us how your tap water, what color you get for for it. So uh, we're gonna take a short break now, right? Yeah. Uh, and you can collect things that have a hole. Uh, maybe coffee, Coca Cola, yeah, yeah that, uh, carbonated water, whatever, yeah. and then try it yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in about five or ten minutes. I think let's say ten minutes. Ten minutes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Ten minutes. So we'll be back at ten in ten minutes, guys. Okay. Uh, and if you have any other questions, write us down in that time, mm -hmm. and we will see you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.
welcome back, guys. Yeah. Hope you're ready for another round of experiments. Yes. So, we have lined up a couple of things here that we have mm. uh, in stock. Yes. Do you want to present the items? Well, yeah. We prefer the wet cabbage solution that we used in the first experiment. And we use everything, like kind of drink. Uh, first, we have the dishes water. Dish water. Yeah. And usually you don't drink that, mm, but nah. you have it at home. Yeah, you just wanted to know. And then the second is this cola. A half open Coca Cola can, yeah. <laughs> courtesy of me. And this is uh, milk. We want to know. Next is a coffee. And the last is carbonated water. Yes. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just tried to up. Yeah. I think everyone can relate to that one. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let that cool down for a bit. Yeah. And we start from that end again. Okay. Okay, so sure. you wanna pour in the tap water and add or not sorry, not the tap water, the dish water water. Ooh. What do you think is going to happen? Mm, we'll see. It's a dirty water. <laughs> it's dirty water, yeah. right? So we've used this water to clean the dishes from before. So let's add some. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, that was quite a lot. And then you twirl it around. And what do we see? Hmm. Still, I still think it's a little bit, I would say a little bit uh, purplish to bluish. Yeah. It's, a little bit it's difficult to blue. see. Yeah, maybe if we have or exactly, exactly, I can hold it for you, and then I can. So, not much of a change. So we're guessing quite a neutral mm -hmm. pH, maybe a bit on the basic side. Yeah, because we already uh, clean it, and it's contained with a bit kind of um, sock. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey guys. Oh, you're Victoria. I, I was uh, wait. I was look. I was like in the middle of like washing my dish from lunch, and like, what are you guys doing with this? Well, we just like really curious what's inside. <laughs> okay. I hope I hope it was okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair, that's fine. That's I fine. realized I wasn't even wearing my goggles, so that's very bad lab manners, right? I was very like what? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was good. We weren't using any dangerous substances yep. yeah. right now. But so for the next one, cola, Coca Cola, and I think that should be enough. That was all that was left in it as yeah. well. So I can hold it. So cola is already colored, so it might mm -hmm. be a bit difficult to see the color change. But let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see. Mm. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, it looks reddish, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not like Coca Cola. It looks like cranberry juice. Ooh. You guys have ever had one, by the way? Definitely. But I have a gastric pit and I couldn't drink cola. Ah, oh. okay. I think it has some acidic inside. Yeah. So, yeah. That seems reasonable. Um, so shall we try the next one? Yeah. yeah. So we can clearly see there's a difference between um, between these two. Oh, never mind. It's actually turning blue. Now. Yeah, it's actually Slightly turning blue. blue. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we take no milk. Milk. Oh, hello. Okay, I think this is going to be an interesting change, or maybe not an interesting change, but it's going to be very visual. Yeah, Ooh. I wonder. Ooh, that's a nice pastel purple. Yeah, because it's milk it's is remain purple like this. Yeah, milk is quite um, opaque yeah, it's itself. Yeah, so it's difficult. So it's it's not like pure purple. Yeah, but yeah, more towards the neutral yep. side, I would say. Yes, that's good. Like milk is quite. Good that's good milk. for my gastric. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. So I think we should go with coffee, and I'm a bit scared to find out about this one because I drink a lot of coffee, but mm. I guess. Ignorance is bliss, but I will find out today. So let's add the pH indicator. 
And we swirl it around. Oh. And so coffee already has a color in it, so it's not as visible. But even this turns a bit more sort of darkish red. Yeah, it's like yeah? red. Very dark red. And so coffee already has a coloration in it. Could so you put more? And I want to see what's happened. So now we have, yeah, it's like quite yeah, it's quite strong brownish red. Okay, what do you think when you when you compare it to this one? It looks kind of well. It's probably on the side of like purplish red, yeah. reddish purple. So no, I that's reddish purple. This is reddish purple. Yes. Yeah. Well, then I couldn't drink what of Anything. this kind of drink, Coca Cola and coffee. That's yeah. Bad for my stomach. Yeah. Like, well, at least you can add milk to coffee, and it yeah. will make things mm -hmm. like. Oh. So if we add some, but it will be explo explosion. <laughs> right. Yes. Some carbonated water. Just need a little bit more time. So it's not good. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, dogs. So we add some of this Ramlasa. Fun fact Ramlasa is a city in the south of Sweden. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Do they produce carbonated water there? Well, they have a mineral spring. Ah. Also, by the way, not sponsored by Ramlas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In case you want to sponsor us. Yeah, this would be nice. Call. Um, so that's some carbonated water. And do you want to pour in the pH indicator, Victoria? Yes. Oops. Hmm. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. Wow. It's remain purple. Yeah, or purple pinkish maybe or yeah. maybe because i added a, a, a quite a lot of indicator there should we try to add some more yeah let's add some more i would expect it to be um you know a bit reddish because it also contains it's also carbonated so i would expect it to be like coca-cola right? oh we should see what is inside the carbonated it's a container oh my god this is swedish <laughs> 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 cool syrup wow. and syrup in Swedish is acid, right? Wow. Yep. Yeah. So I think we have our answer there. Well, good. But worth to notice is that the gas sort of goes upwards, mm -hmm. so it's not as visible here, but yeah. in our solution. Uh, but yeah, there we have it, right? So we have different different kind of waters yeah, and drinks can, can have different pHs. So we try to put them in a... Should we try to put them in a scale? Yeah. Okay. So if we have sort of our Coca-Cola and our coffee somewhere here. Our neutral milk. Yeah. I think or, it's um, this is also this one. over here. Here. And, and our dishwater in the end there. Well, yeah. And we can... Yeah. We can I'm sorry. Well, yeah, that's actually quite a this nice two thing. I couldn't drink it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's too acidic. And then, yeah, I don't want to drink. Also, the this is water. No, yeah, no. I think it's. I think it turned um, blue because yeah, of the blue. salt because of the dishwashing. So exactly. So what's interesting here is right that these are things. Not all of them. Dishwasher. I usually don't. Or uh, dishwasher water. I usually don't drink. But the rest of them are quite close to a neutral pH. Mm which are quite close to, sort of, so which are supported uh, physiologically by our bodies mm -hmm. as well. Because we don't want to drink something that's too basic. Yes. Yes. Um, so the spectrum isn't as large as the other one of items where we did that we don't put in our body. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that's quite interesting. And I guess one could actually try out so many different yeah, things and see. Mm -hmm. um, all you need is some red cabbage. Um, mm -hmm. You could actually also use the red cabbage to make your own pH indicator paper, yeah, which we yeah. won't do today. Uh, but all you need then is uh, some coffee filter paper, mm -hmm. uh, and you add some red cabbage solution to it, and then you can use that pH that filter paper as a pH indicator uh, to test different solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that's 
all we have for today, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is quite interesting experiment. Simple yeah. but interesting. Simple but interesting and quite easy to do. Mm. And what's interesting is there are a lot of different ways you can actually carry out science at home mm. without needing much. Uh, and we will try to go through different things uh, during this these coming months, actually. So this yes. was the first episode of Lab on Screens. Uh, and uh, if you stay tuned, we might actually have another episode for you uh, in the coming weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Yes. Um, and please send us your feedback and comments and let us know how it went. Mm-hmm. Send us pictures if you have any, if you took any of the And also you can tag us in our Instagram account if you did this experiment and you want us to know what you did, how you did it. You can tag at IGEM Stockholm. That's right. Exactly. Yes. yes. Cool. So do we drink the milk now? No. <laughs> no. It's going to be red cabbage flavored. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. Please guys don't drink any of the yes. solutions we have no, today. No, no. So thank you so much for joining guys. That was all for us. Yeah, hope yeah. you enjoy our first video and we will come back with our next video. If you also have uh, feedback or you want us to do something more interesting, yeah. you can give your comment like uh, what kind of experiment that you like. Mm-hmm. I can just put out that I think someone, a little bird tweeted to me that we might do something with DNA and extract wow. yes, it. Definitely. Ooh, using household items. That's mm. quite cool, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I think we end there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching guys. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.